So, let's talk about my main superhero. Now, all I can say is her name is Spaghetti, and she lives in a town. Now, she goes to school, and that's just that. I can't really spoil anything else. I, I think I've spoken more about uh, powers or whatever, but... Um, now, a real superhero name is Damsel Reagan. Now, um... I can't wait for this to come out, and it won't be d digital, I don't think I can make it d digital, but if things are happening the way it is now, I will have no choice but to use a d digital, I can't even say the word digital, I will use a digital format, and you guys can buy it online, but don't worry, that's like for the future, not now. Um, anyways, I want to say that I was thinking about you know, explaining the character a bit more, and let's just talk about what I would want to put in the first page. When it comes to the first page, I would want to put um, something that, you know, that explains the character, like the character talking about a life or something like that, like, you know, the way she introduces herself to you guys, breaking the fourth wall. Um, so she will just, you know, say that in the comics, like, hello. My name is Spaghetti and whatever. Um, I don't think I've I've, uh, I've uh, written written a surname. I don't remember. Oh frick! I failed at a design, so I have to keep working on it. But uh, so okay, okay. Let's just forget about the design for now. Uh, but all I know is, like in my mind, I know what she can wear. I know what she's going to wear. I just have to make it a bit more better and draw her much more different. Okay, I have to draw a bit more cute. Maybe a bit more in the anime style, and there we go. Uh, I don't want to make her a bulk gal because she's not, she's not, she is not bulk. Like, she relies on all of her gadgets to just, you know, fight. So, like, she's not strong without whatever she has. So, I don't think she has that much training. I don't know if, if I'll ever give her, like, training montages or anything like that because it's like, okay, maybe without. Uh, maybe with uh, powers, M not powers. Maybe with uh, stuff that th the stuff that she has. Now, uh, basically, I'm gonna put something in the beginning where it introduces her, uh, where she breaks the fourth wall in the comics. It's like kind of weird. Do comic characters break the fourth wall? Like, is it is it like is it some kind of like popular thing? I don't know. I think so, but uh, it's like basically she starts off saying wherever she is, and then. She then says, like, a past and stuff, like, you know, this is my school, I go here, and, you know, one time, I was, like, the popular student or something like that, and I was so good at soccer when I was small and stuff, and now, I'm a bit bigger, I'm a, I'm a class loser, and I am a cheerleader now, you know, like, a big transition from doing something in the past as, as she was a boy, and now doing something when she's a girl, like, um, you know, that's just that, you know, it explains, you know, like, yes, she, she won all these trophies for, like, soccer and stuff, like, the best soccer player in the school, but, like, after that, she decides to just be a cheerleader instead, because, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, anyways, like, that's, like, a big transition, that's what I call, like, a proper transition, not just, like, gender, but just, just also, like, uh, whatever you want to do when it comes to, like, schools and stuff, like, instead of playing soccer, like, yeah, she played soccer as a boy, but, like, you know, she never had no interest of, like, doing those stuff while she was a boy, because, you know, like, now she's a girl, she can actually cheerlead, so, she's a cheerleader and, like, the best cheerleader ever, but she's still a loser, and that's something else that's very special about this character. She's not so, so popular as she, like she was. Now that I'm talking about this, I should make her more popular in the past, and now make her, like as she as she's currently living, um, turn her into like a loser or basically start off as a loser. Start off a character as a loser. You know, you know what I mean. Like, okay, I hope I'm not ex I'm not I hope I'm not explaining everything terrible, because, yep, my English broke. Wow, I know. I hope. 
I'm not explaining everything in a terrible way or in a terrible freaking fashion because I know for a fact I'm terrible at, at explaining stuff. But I do hope that you guys get to know her within a few pages. Know her past and know what she's doing now in the current present and what she's interested in and you know uh anyways i just want to say uh you know uh, i will show more drafts when i'm getting uh you know through those drawings and stuff but right now i have a lot to do so i have to put that like in the back of my list of doing stuff but all i can say is this character could be the best character ever and could be a very good character where people can enjoy not just because she's a mime because she is a character as well she has her own personality she has likes and dislikes too you know regardless if she's a mime or not like even if she's a mime doesn't change the fact that you know there's a lot going on in her life and you know uh okay let's just uh say that when it comes to love interest i don't know like maybe one girl she would love but it won't be so like it won't be so romantic it's more about her saving the day and stuff with other stuff and fighting other villains you know like i have plenty of ideas for other superheroes and other villains in the superhero comic stuff and trust me some of these villains could be badass depending on how i write them because i want to write them the best ever so people can remember them by like this goes for all villains what in whatever i make in whatever category you know they have to be good at something if you're writing a villain in a romantic novel they have to be you know they have to fit in that type of genre as well and you know um be the bad guy in that plot altogether. but you know he has to be memorable as well he can't just be like a random villain that people will just oh look i remember that villain was a thing oh whatever like people should remember th this character and you know always know what defines this character but anyways uh let's just forget about the villains for now villains are always going to be bad guys or they will have a proper intro and there will you know be a lot of expl explanations on how many of these villains became bad guys like some are just born into bad families and, and bad environments bad ecosystems and whatever but like you know when you, when you turn a good character bad like you need to explain it a bit more so you, you need to explain those changes and what made this person think like this or anything like that you know um hope you guys enjoy this character all i know is her outfits okay when speaking about her outfits um now i want i want her to be a bit more sexy you know you know like i don't want her to be like some kind of like real life type of like tranny that never went to so many uh what what is the word operations you know she has to look like very cute so she, because she did go to a lot of these operations and stuff so it's like you know um uh, oh speaking of operations there will be like like you know where you know spaghetti is talking about a life and it's like you know the way she got in the way she got into like superhero comics and stuff was because you know like she had nothing else to do during the time she was waiting for her operation to begin so like while she was in hospital she had no choice but to read these comics and they've actually you know cheered her up and made her happy so like that's the time she got into all this stuff before that she had no idea about superhero comics or she could care less about it basically she could give a damn about that before when she was young but you know um anyways i want it to be sexy i don't want it to look so weird and stuff i don't want it to look like i'll give a portray a lot of my ums these days i want it to look sexy with a few touches like like you know that that will show you that yes she was once born a man you know like something like that like maybe she'll be a bit more taller than the average female and she will be a bit more how do i say like maybe she'll have an adam's apple like a slight adam's apple and stuff uh you know um uh, she will be a 
okay, I don't know. I don't want to say strong because like she she doesn't she doesn't have muscles or anything like that. She's not even strong. I just said she's not going to be a strong character without whatever she has, without uh, you know, uh, superpowers in quotations. Like not really a superpowers. It's more or less uh, um, uh, gadgets. Like yeah, she always uses gadgets and stuff. So that's the thing. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Ten minute video. Wow. It's raining. Hold on. Let me let me just put this microphone close to the window. Okay, I hope no water touches the microphone. Did you guys hear that? I don't know. Like if you listen closely, or if you put your volume up, you might hear um, rain, so uh, it is very um, cloudy today, like, I'm not kidding, the entire sky is full of clouds, so uh, that sucks. Uh, thanks so much for watching, take care, love you all, bye.